and talk about adult learners. So let's identify what makes an adult learner. Well, adult learners very often are internally motivated and self-directed. So they've got a motivation for coming to do a course. More so if this is an external course. You know, if somebody's been forced to do a training within an organization, fine, they've been told that they have to be there. But if you're delivering courses, so as an example, my seven-day NLP course, people come to the training because they are internally motivated and self-directed. They want to come and learn for themselves. Adult learners also bring life experiences and knowledge to the learning experience. So there's so much information we can actually get from our clients and from our students. They're going to bring information with them that you can very often utilize within the training and also within further and future courses. Now they're going to be very goal orientated. They have a particular goal, a particular outcome for doing your course. And it's useful to find out what that is so that you can ensure that you actually meet that for them within the training. Of course, they're going to be relevancy orientated. They're going to come and do your course because they believe that it's going to help them get to the outcome that they want. An example of that might be somebody doing the trainer's training because they want to become a better trainer. It's relevant for them within the industry. They often want practical advice, practical ways of being able to do things because adult learners typically are more practical themselves. And often adult learners will be doing courses because they're seeking respect. If I use an example, I've worked with many psychologists and sometimes people just go and do a psychology course simply because they want to be well respected in their community. Now I'm not saying that's true for everybody, but very often Adult learners are doing courses because they're seeking more respect. They want to get some additional letters behind their name. Or they want to learn new skills and be able to say, yeah, you know what? I can actually do this and this and this. And it's all about that, that respect, both sometimes for themselves as well as externally. So what would be some of their motivators for participation? You know, people have many different reasons for why they're going to want to be attending your training program. It might be to learn more effective communication skills. Maybe personal development. How to learn to engage better in a social environment. Maybe they do training to prepare for further education. Or for professional advancement in their current job or career. As an example, a few years ago, I set up a mortgage business. And so therefore, I had to go and do CMAP, which is a particular requirement to be working within the financial industry and, and doing mortgages and insurances. And so therefore, I did the training for professional advancement within another business that I owned. Maybe they want to re-enter the workforce. An example of that might be, a lady who has been looking after the kids for the last few years and now that they've gone to school now the lady would like to get back into the workforce and so she goes to relearn or or learn something new to enter into a new industry and of course also there'll be many financial reasons like to be able to get a better job or to start their own business so that they can better provide for their family so these are just some of the motivators for participation. So let's do a little exercise. What do you think an adult learner is? What can you add? And why do you think they might be motivated to do your training? So have you already got a course that you are delivering? Or are you considering creating a particular course or starting your own business? And if that's the case, it's very important to consider who's your client avatar. So who is it that you want to attract to your training courses? 
who is the who would that person look like example i might say somebody who wants to do a life coaching course might be and this is just one example of a client avatar a lady between the age of 40 to 60 who has been in the corporate sector and now wants to start her own business she wants to get out of the rat race and she wants to give back so that might be an example of a client avatar so why do you think they might be motivated to come and do your training and then that's going to help you to create your client avatar